On August 27th, only one can be called champion. Hockey Enforcers. Black and blue. Only on pay-per-view. Saturday, August 27th, live from Prince George, BC. 16 of hockey's toughest and most notorious fighters. Including Boston Bruins bad boy. But the most feared man of the game today. No stings. No bugs. Just fights. Hockey Enforcers. Black and blue. Live on pay-per-view and worldwide webcast. Complete details online at HockeyEnforcers.com. Our final matchup of the night. Mike Scroy, Dean Mayran. Scroy, mixed martial artist by trade, hockey player by night. I think he'd actually switch those around as he's still moving up the ranks in the world of professional hockey. Mayran is certified personal trainer. So two guys that conditioning, you got to think, won't be as much of a factor as maybe it was with some guys earlier. I'm looking forward to this one. Well, I tell you what, I don't think Mayran would be a guy as a personal trainer that I want to be late for. <laughs> he tells you to stay in the, on the Stairmaster for another 30 minutes. You're saying yes, absolutely. 6'3", yeah. 250. Stroy, a little bit taller, not quite as heavy. Same age, roughly the same professional hockey experience. Stroy, again, though, in terms of whether they're at their hockey background, Stroy's still kind of an up-and-comer. A guy hoping to realize the dream, hoping to get to the National Hockey League. Mayran, on the other hand, as a certified for a personal trainer, also right now playing semi-pro hockey in Quebec. For him, perhaps that other dream of hockey, this is about as good as it's going to get. It's a big night for him and a big night for Stroy as well. Well, you also have to understand that the purse for this uh, for this fight is definitely like the guy playing a full year in the in the minors. That's there's absolutely no about no doubt about that. Mike Stroy, the first of our two men in the championship bout. He's had the same look on his face pretty much throughout the week. Not just tonight, throughout the week. Grant Myers as he makes his way out there, calm, cool, collected. Been at a mixed martial arts show. You got a fight going on in the stand. Ah, a little scrap. <laughs> just when we said we're having a, a solid night. Stroy doesn't care. He's looking ahead saying, what happened? All right. Where's Mayran? Let's get it going. That's yeah. all he's thinking about right yeah, now. You can just tell by the look in his face. <laughs> he's pretty confident. And you mentioned the purse, roughly equivalent of, for the winner, oh, a year's salary in the American yeah, Hockey League. Yeah, one, one day of fighting is what you're going to make in the American Hockey League uh, uh, for one full year. Mayran makes his way out there. Again, a semi-pro player at Quebec. You get to this point for most of these guys. In fact, I think it's safe to say all these guys. The purse for the winner is significant. It's big. It's what they all came here for. Two things. One, the money. Two, really the pride to be the first champion of hockey enforcers. We're just moments away of finding out who exactly that first champion will be. Dean Mayran right there or Mike Scroy? That'll be the question. Who's going to walk away with the title? Who's going to walk away with the belt? Will it be Scroy? Will it be Mayran? For the official introductions, here's Amy Hayes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Prince George, Canada. Are you ready for the main event of the evening? The Black and Blue Hockey Enforcers Champion. Who will the winner be? Introducing to you first, standing six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 230 pounds from Toronto. He's wearing number 22, Mike. Scroy! And next, he also stands six feet five inches tall, weighs in at 225 pounds from Windsor, wearing number 55, Dean Mayran. Well, it's two guys who have been pictures of confidence from the very beginning. Scroy won his first fight, the second of the night. Mayran won his first fight in every fight thereafter, as did Scroy the third fight of the night. The guys that fought second and third are gonna fight last. The championship's on the line. Mayran in the blue, Scroy in the black. Here we go. Scroy talking to Mayran. Let's go, boys, let's go. Mayran missing. Mayran, a big body punch. Haven't seen that much tonight in the right hand. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Release, release. 30 seconds left. 
Crowd wants him to engage. Not a lot of time left. 20 seconds. Anybody's fight. There he looks like he's bleeding out of his mouth. Got a couple of right hands in there. Scroy coming back strong. Mayweather takes him down. <laughs> what a takedown. There's got to be, what, 10 seconds left here? Maybe. Maybe hey, 10 hey. seconds he's left. Going at him. Five seconds. We're, right told. Out. we're told five seconds. Count it down. You're going to hear the horn. Display. One more round. What a joke. So let's take a look at the replays from this particular fight well, they, from the champion. You know, look at they both come in. And that was a hard right there. And Segura just missed with the right. But he's uh they're both oh he went down there. He wrestled down or well, you know what? Let's see here. It almost looks like he might have been a little bit off balance, maybe. First time nope. well, big right hand there. Hit there. <laughs> yeah, he did. And he sort of grabbed on. That was right at the end. Yep. And now we'll have to get Here's the announcement the in a moment. Here's the takedown. Yep. I don't. Well, he did get a little bit of a shot in there. Shot and yeah. kind of a shot and a push, it looked yeah. like, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see the decision. The crowd is waiting. The fighters are waiting. We're waiting as we all wait to see what will happen and who will be crowned the first champion of hockey enforcers. All the participants throughout the night are on the benches. They're all sitting here waiting. Everyone taking a look. We have a decision. We are going to go to that decision. It'll be interesting to hear. Take a listen and then listen to the crowd. Here it is. One more minute. Ladies and gentlemen, hockey fans, we have a winner by split decision. Number 55, D. Mayran is the winner. Mike Saroy disappointed. Mayran with a number of the participants. A lot of guys that he's had tilts with in that Quebec semi pro league coming out and congratulating him. And here's a great show of sportsmanship. Mayran and Scroy. Uh, I tell you, you got to give your, uh, take your hats off these two gentlemen. Here. And Warriors. As disappointed as Scroy is, Mayran is a happy guy right now. That guy is going to walk home with a nice check. Meanwhile, Scroy wonders what if. Yep. What if. So close, but he couldn't quite get there. We're going to check in with Dean Mayran here in just a couple of seconds. Amy Hayes is going to stand by as Mike Scroy still shaking his head in disappointment. Tough night for Mike Scroy. His only loss came in the championship out. Amy Hayes is with our winner. Amy. Excitement, everything's going crazy. I'm with Dean Mainwright. He's got his check yeah. right here. Right Dean, here. how are you feeling? Pretty tired. Pretty tired, and and uh, you look good. I mean, you got a few marks there, but he looks good, right, fans? Yeah. You have a check for $62,250. Where is that money going? I'm going shopping. Do I get to come, or are you already married and all that? No, <laughs> that's great. Anything in particular you're gonna buy? A new car. A new car, all right. Congratulations, Dean Rayman. We appreciate you and we no hope to see you again. Does, is this the end of your uh, hockey enforcer participation or will you come back? No, I'd like to come back, defend my title. Okay, he'll be back to defend his title. Let's hear it for Dean Rayman, ladies and gentlemen, your new black and blue hockey enforcers so champion.